So let me just show you the excesses reflected. So we will try to intercept the request on the proxy. I'll just type this script alert brute force or whatever you can write it here. Click on intercept. Welcome to Global Information Security Society for Professional of Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Sayyid Dan Nusrati. I'm working as an information security consultant at one of the big four firms. Our topic for tutorial today is Burpsuit. What is a Burpsuit? Burpsuit is actually a suit or a combination of tools used to perform security testing of web applications. It is developed by a company named Faith Portswager. It is really famous and being used by ethical hackers, penetration testers, and security researchers. So this tool comes with multiple tools, uh, but in this tutorial, we'll only focus on the mostly used ones, which are proxy, repeater, and intruder. So before moving on to the tools, we'll I'll show you the GUI of Pursuit. Here uh, you can see different tabs like target, proxy, intruder, repeater, project options, and user options. So uh, coming to the target tab, uh, you can see sitemap, you can see the links which are passively called, you can see specified scope, you can specify, remove, add the scope of your target. So uh, as we are using DVWA, uh, that is Damn Vulnerable Web Application for our tutorial today. I've, I already added the target. Issue definition with issues can be performed during the scan if you are using WebSuit Scanner. Proxy. What is a WebSuit proxy? WebSuit proxy is, it is used to intercept modif and modify the con contents of requests and responses while they are in transit. It also helps us to directly send intercepted requests response to other Burpsuit tools like repeater, intruder, decoder as well. So um, to use this tool, this uh, proxy tool, you have to um, configure it first. So coming under to a proxy, uh, you have intercept tab, HTTP history tab, WebSocket history tabs, and options. Here you can specify proxy listeners as you can see, I've already added 127.0.0.1 K80 uh, as my proxy listener. So if you're using a Firefox, open Firefox, come to settings, um, in the search bar type proxy, click settings. Um, it by default this is on no proxy. You can configure it by manual clicking on manual configuration type same as IP address as the web suit. Uh, if it's unchecked, check and then use it. So um, I, I prefer web suit own pre-configured browser. So I will not use Firefox for our tutorial. So here, uh, this browser is already pre-configured so I don't have to reconfigure uh, the uh, other web browser for the proxy settings. So I'll, I already opened it here, on my demonable application. So let me just reopen it. Okay, so here uh, you can see, uh, yeah, you can see the browser uh, where demonable application is open already. So moving on to the next tool, which is repeater. Repeater is used to um, repeat, manipulate or reissue the certain HTTP request to the target. It is used to perform different kind of uh, uh, injections. Uh, it is used to verify how the server is responding to the certain request. So uh, coming to the repeater, here uh, you can see it's nothing. So first uh, to send a request to the repeater, we have to intercept it via the proxy tag. So let me just show you the XSS reflected. 
So we will try to intercept the request on the proxy. I'll just type this script alert brute force or whatever you can write it here. Click on intercept and then intercept the request. Here you can see we have successfully intercepted the request. I can forward the request. I can drop the request. Uh, act, if I click on action, I can scan, do passive active scan, send it to different pursuit tools. So uh, currently we have to repeat the request. So we will send it to the repeater. And uh, don't forget to turn off the intercept. Coming to repeater, you can see the same of uh, the same request being repeated here. So we will just type the, our uh, cross site scripting command and try to send and see the response. So the response code here is 200 and OK. So if you want to see the recorder uh, that is request in the response, that the response in the browser, uh, click show in browser and then copy paste it in the URL. Type OK. OK. See, uh, this website is vulnerable of accesses affected. So let me just uh, intercept this all. OK. So coming to SQL injection, we will try to exploit this vulnerability, turn off the interception, and submit. Here, um, we have already intercepted the request. We will send it to the repeater again. Same process. And here uh, in the ID, we, okay. So uh, we'll just turn off the intercept again. Repeater. So uh, here I'll type one plus and plus sleep plus five and see the response of the server. Send. Okay, the response is two hundred and okay. So let's just check this response in the browser. Put that in the URL. Okay. So uh, this website is also vulnerable of SQL injection. It showed me the admin and surname of the first name and uh, that is admin and surname that is admin as well. So um, our repeater is completed. Let's move on to Intruder. What is an Intruder? Actually, Intruder is a fuzzer. It is used to perform brute force attacks on different forms, uh, different um, login, um, login form, password forms as well. So um, mostly we, we, we try to inject or brute force just to perform, uh, just to exploit vulnerability of XSS and SQL injection. We can also test uh, attack rate limiting on the applications. So coming to the intruder. In intruder tab, you can see target positions, payload and options. So same, we're gonna do the same. Uh, we will try to exploit brute force vulnerability here. We'll type admin, password, one, two, three, anything. Turn the interceptor on and then click login. So uh, we have successfully intercepted the request. I'll send it to the intruder and intercept should be off. Come into intruder. Okay, so uh, here you can see under positions tab, attack types, sniper, veteran ram, pitch for cluster bomb. First, what is Sniper. Okay, so Intruder has different uh, four different attack types, which is first is Sniper. Uh, sniper uses one payload on one parameter at a time. So once it's, it's done with the first payload on first uh, parameter, it will move on to uh, the next parameter with the same payload. So uh, uh, Sniper and, and Battering M works on the single payloads. So we'll try to demonstrate sniper here. So by default, multiple attack points are included. So we'll clear, clear everything. So we uh, we know the username must be admin and we don't know the password. So we'll double click on it and click add. So coming to payload. Uh, so payload set, as I, as I told you earlier, sniper 
um, consist a sniper can only perform one payload. You can specify the payload type that is runtime, uh, recursive number dates. So we will just leave it to simple list. You can uh, add list from if you have only downloaded one. And like I have uh, rockyou.txt, but it's a huge one. So I'll create. You can also add uh, your own payload. Suppose user user one two three pass password. Uh, whatever I write in here, click add. So this is our, our payload. So since it's uh, we are using a sniper attack, payload must be just uh, one. We'll start the attack and see. So here uh, you can see status 200, but you cannot specify which password was correct or which is not. So um, we'll just try to manually enter the credential first to see the error. Admin one, two, three, four, any bogus value. Okay, so we know the error is this. So we will copy it from here and use a functionality called grep match. We'll create everything and add a new item. That is that. And click. So coming back to the target and start the time. Okay, so uh, let me show you, let me just uh, demonstrate what I did by you by copy pasting the grab functionality. Okay, so uh, here uh, you can see um, it gave me the error on this zero, one, two, uh, 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 like every entry of the payload, except for this password. It didn't give me the um, error on this this payload. So we'll try to enter this same password on admin password. Okay, so login success has been successfully um, done. Coming back to our slide. Okay. So uh, the the next is cluster bomb. What cluster bomb uh, does is that uh, it it uses multiple word lists, checks all the possibilities and combination of um, uh, all the payloads versus the, all the parameters. So let me just show you how it's done. So the previous test, coming back to our payload. So this is our attack area, attack position. We will select cluster bomb. So uh, since I already have one um, payload position, it, it can only perform one payload set. So uh, I, in case I have to test username and password, so multiple username against multiple password. So I'll also add admin here. So now you can see we can May, we can upload or we can use two different payload sets. So I already configured one uh, payload one. Now I'll I'll configure or include the entries in the second payload. That is user user one two everything user pass password security. Now, so, uh, since our payload one, payload set two has been configured, I'll start that. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we didn't uh, we didn't get much entries in this when we did a sniper attack. Here, uh, as I told you, it will check each uh, each entry of payload one with each entry of uh, payload two. So user against user, user one, two, three. So uh, let me just, okay, so payload one, we did, I forgot to enter uh, admin because you are using username yeah, in payload one. Okay, so we will start the attack again and hopefully we get it, yeah. So um, in um, entry number 24, 
we didn't get the error that is username and or password incorrect so our username is pass, uh, admin and password is password so uh, why we got so many entries in cluster bomb <clears throat> sorry but we didn't get the sniper because cluster bomb test each uh, entry of payload with each uh, entry of um, the second payload first versus the second okay uh, coming back to battering ram <clears throat> Sorry, but what battering ram is, is it also uses a one single payload as a sniper. But the difference between the sniper and battering ram is this: uh, sniper completed the first payload, then it uh, then it uh, on first parameter, then it moves on to uh, with the the second parameter with the same payload. While battering ram, what it does, it simultaneously attacks on the first. And on the second payload, uh, on, oh, sorry, uh, on the first parameter as well as the second parameter with the same payload simultaneously. Now coming to Pitchfork. Pitchfork uses multiple payload set. You can uh, specify maximum up to 20 payloads. So um, it is used when uh, the user is required um, to send requests value to be in multiple fields simultaneously but different for each parameter uh, let me just show you here we go to pitchfork payload set one payload set two we have already specified so um, let me just start the attack so what it what it did actually it actually checks first entry of the second payload, second entry of the second payload, third entry of the second, third payload, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, in our uh, condition, like in our DM vulnerable application, we um, our sniper and cluster bomb was the most successful one um, as per our requirement. So uh, overview or summary, as I told you earlier, it is a set of tools uh, which is which comes with different kind of tools used to perform security of our applications. So I hope um, you you enjoyed the session. If you have any queries regarding DVWA or Burp Suit, you can contact me on my LinkedIn. Thank you so much.